If you're a tennis player and you need help to come up with a match plan and how to write match notes, then keep watching. I like to have structure when I write my notes, so there's like five sections. And I always start with my opponent. So then I look out for their serve, then their return. I look out what they do in the rally and how I'm gonna play in the rally. Then I look out for mentality, their mentality and their physicality. And let's say we're at a junior tournament and we are watching our next round opponents and let's say it's Lucy against Maria. This is how I watch my opponents, by the way. And we have to focus on one opponent at a time and maybe there is a favorite. Let's say the favorite is Lucy. So Lucy's serve. Does Lucy have a big serve or does she go for high percentage? Where does Lucy like to hit her serves on big points? Where does Lucy like to hit her serves on juice points? Is it T or is it slice wide? Where does Lucy serve break point down? Let's write it down. And it's not always gonna be like super predictable, but even on our level, like professional players have their favorites, they have tendencies. And normally, you stick with your strength. How am I gonna return Lucy's serve? Am I gonna stand in or am I gonna go back behind the baseline to have more time? I like to be disciplined on my return, so I'll probably go across my body. Or let's say Lucy has really big back swings, so then I would target deep ball down the middle so she is rushed and doesn't have enough space to create angles. I'll write this down. Now, how's Lucy's second serve? Is it a pretty good serve? She has a good kick? Or does she just hit her second serve in the middle of the box and it's very attackable? Oh, does Lucy sometimes go for a cop out second serve where she hits she hits it very big? I was gonna say something else, but when she hits it really big. And make sure you don't write an essay, like pick a few sentences. Here's an example. Forgot to mention uh, Lucy is a right hander. Okay, now let's talk about Lucy's return. Is Lucy disciplined with first serve? return is she just going across her body straight down the middle or does she like to find the corners is lucy aggressive of second serve most girls are so i wouldn't, wouldn't be surprised if lucy is pretty aggressive <laughs> um, i'm trying to make scenarios what's lucy's favorite return does she prefer a forehand or a backhand we did mention already that Lucy has big back swings, so you'd want to use um, body serve if that's the case. So let's write a few points down. Now let's get into the rally against Lucy, but first you need to be pretty clear on how you play and what your identity is. Okay, let's establish, does Lucy like to hit it flat and hard or is she someone who plays with a lot of variety and has a lot of shape on the ball? Let's say Lucy hits hard and flat. Let's also make Lucy pretty aggressive with her forehand that she dictates with it, but it also is the side that breaks down because her, her backhand is the more stable shot and she's just more disciplined with it. Let's make Lucy be comfortable with coming into the net. But she closes really hard. So, for example, you can hit the lob over her. What else? Um, how does Lucy deal with variety? How does Lucy deal with variety? How does she handle the slice? How does she handle the ball that's high above her shoulders and it's out of her strike zone? Let's come up with a plan, shall we? One more thing, how often does Lucy redirect to hit a line ball? Or does she feel comfortable to just stay in the cross-court rally? 
let's talk about Lucy's physicality. How is she in hot condition? I don't know. Let's say this tournament we're, we're at is a junior tournament and it's really hot there. And she doesn't like it. So you can extend the rallies. How's Lucy's movement? Let's make Lucy a really tall girl. So she struggles with the movement. With the movement and you can expose her movement. But I'm going to say that there are girls that are super tall and still move pretty well. Um, one of these examples... Actually, I'm not gonna give you examples because I'm also like a pro player. Like, it's gonna be weird if I name drop everyone. Um, also, I'm questioning Lucy's movement forward. So we can use the drop shot. We can definitely use the drop shot. Last but not least, what's Lucy's mentality like? Is she a tough competitor? What's her body language like? Does she get down on herself? Does she, I don't know, get angry with her parents and get really frustrated? Okay, so that's the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching it. I really hope that it will help at least one junior tennis player because honestly, when I was a kid, when I was a little girl, my notes weren't very structured. I would literally write something like, oh yeah, Lucy had a beautiful dress. I wonder where she got it from. And her forehand is not as good. And I would literally just say her second serve is soft. Like that's it. There was no structure around it. Um, I was a kid though. And I just wanted to wish Lucy all the luck in the world with her career. And I really hope you guys are going to subscribe to my channel now.